You guys are never gonna guess where I am driving to right now. I'm going to the public library to get a library card. And I know that that may sound lame. I can rent books for free, I can rent movies for free. The only downside is that it's not open on the weekends. I might read a couple books. It's mainly just, you know, have a place to go. It's just, I think it would be a nice idea to have a library card and I haven't had a library card since I was little. The best part about it is that the library is only five minutes from my house. In a quarter mile, turn right into the parking lot. I'm pulling up to the library now. It looks kind of like a church. If I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little intimidated. Oh my God, okay. I can't be nervous to go into the library, but I am. I have never had to sign up for a library card by myself because my mom always used to do it when I was little. So if I'm being honest, I'm a little intimidated because I don't know how that works. I think I just go to the front desk and say, hey, um, I'd like to sign up for a library card. I don't know, I don't know how it works, so I'm nervous. one of the best things that I could have done because that library has like a little seating area where I can edit my videos and I can read books and I can just get out for a little while. You can take out up to 50 items at a time and I took out like a whole bunch of movies and a couple of books. I can't believe I didn't go to the library sooner. <sighs> so hot. By the way, I was right. They only gave me a temporary library card because I do need to have an updated address on my license. Also, I'm driving around and it says 24 miles to empty. So I better stop and get gas. You know, I have to stop and get gas all the freaking time because when I put in 30 bucks, it only lasts me a couple days thanks to this economy. Woohoo! I need to get outside, get that app so I can save money because geez, please, it's bad. So now I'm on my way to go to Garrett's house and we're gonna go to Rip City for dinner like we usually do. Um, the reason being is we thought about getting meat to make it at the house. And the issue is that meat is so expensive right now along with everything else that it's not even much cheaper to make meals at home anymore. Depending on what you make, everything's so expensive, especially meat. I'm so excited to hang out with him. I've seen him every day, but every time I go to see him, I get so happy. I don't know if anyone else is like that. I'm sure you are, but I just get so happy. He's my best friend. I just want to see him every day. Do these hair extensions look real? Because I always feel like they don't look real. I'm trying today, and I hope that they look fine. I had to wear my hair up. I really wanted to wear it down, but I just couldn't do it because my hair is too short. Hmm. I also have such mixed feelings about all of this makeup and everything because I look at the videos and I'm like, wow, I really love when I did my eyelashes in that video or my lipstick, whatever. I love them and I hate them. I don't know.
luck. If we don't catch something now, maybe we'll go later or, you know, we're going to be up this way for the next few days. So this video is skipping around a little bit, you know, like usual, because like I said, I never know when I'm going to be doing stuff to film, but right now I'm at the beach with one of my sisters and we're waiting on the other one to arrive. Dana's in the water, it's 4th of July, and we have some really, really exciting news to share with you, so wait till you see this. So I'm walking up to Dana right now and I'm going to let her share the news with you. Tell them what happened the other day. Bling, bling. She's in <laughs> Beautiful. Look at how pretty that is. And Michael proposed to her like two days ago on the second and they had the whole beach themselves. So I'm really excited for them and I can't wait for the wedding. Water is so clear today and perfectly calm. We're gonna go get Dana's paddleboard out of the car and Christina's bringing hers too. So I've got the paddle, Dana's nice new fancy paddle and her life jacket. And then she has the paddleboard bag on her back. Isn't that ridiculous? Look at how big that bag is. In case anyone's wondering how we blow up the boards at the beach, we have this pump and then it fills in there and then um, you can deflate it with that too, but we usually just let the air out by itself. It's kind of a lot of work, but it's a good workout. back from the beach it is about three o'clock and i'm gonna go on a bike ride with my dad and then i'm gonna get ready to go over to garrett's i'm probably gonna grill there grill some hot dogs and maybe make some burgers i don't really know but then we're gonna see some fireworks tonight so i'm excited for that right now i'm just walking by the pond because i kind of want to see if the alligators are out but it's really really hot so i highly doubt they're out here they're usually right there the mama and then the babies are in there but Looks like the storm stirred everything up a little bit and I don't really see any of them. I'm trying to decide what I want to wear tonight and this outfit is cute like with the little um, stars and stripes on my shorts and then I like this top but I don't think I'm gonna wear that because I kind of want to dress a little bit more girly. This hat is adorable. I really want to wear it but I don't even know like do people wear hats like this at night? Like am I gonna look stupid if I wear this to the fireworks at night? I kind of feel like people just wear them during the day and then take them off at night. So I'm still trying to find that figure that out. I'm definitely gonna be wearing my hair extensions. Probably gonna curl it. I'm excited. So this is the outfit that I'm gonna wear on my bike ride and then I'm gonna put this cute little pink hat on top. And honestly, I don't know where my white gym shoes are that are really cute that go with everything I lost them when I moved. So I'm gonna wear these. Make fun of me if you will. They're green new balances, but they're the only other gym shoes that I have right now. So I'm gonna wear these with this one. And this is my Hemiway bike, and I advise nobody to buy Hemiway. Oh my gosh! I mean, it's, it's been a fun bike, but I've had so many problems with this, with this trying to turn it on. I'll get all geared up, ready to go, and it won't turn on. Or if I stop someplace in the middle of a long ride, it won't turn on, and I'm pedaling this 72-pound bike all the way back home for miles. Uh. Don't buy one. It, it, they don't even respond. Oh no! <laughs> they don't care. Hemiway doesn't care. Show them. 
Oh my god, swim in the water. <laughs> Straight in the water again. 